Hello everybody and welcome to a Monsters Expedition Through Puzzling Exhibitions. <laughs> That's a hard one to say actually. And this is by, or you can see the about page here, uh, Drakneck and Friends, with some help from a few other people. And thank you very, very much for the key for the game. And we are going to play... Uh... And look, it just jumps straight in. So a little boat just, uh, just dropped off to our little monster dude who has no face, which is great. If you can't draw faces, that's the way to go, right? You can't draw hands, you can't draw faces. You just make a little blob, dude. So the idea of this is that you have to just run into trees and topple, topple them over. And if you do that, then you can, uh, you can kick them. You can kick the rocks. Uh, but if you do that, you can get from island to island, and... Oh look, he like, he like, r runs on the log, <laughs> he does a little thing. Okay, so yeah, if you do that, then uh, then you can definitely get from one island to the other, and you can find little exhibition secrets and things. Oh look, he, he like, kind of sits on the edge as well. I like these little details, they are very cute. So at this point, I can reset the island if I want to. If I struggle with the puzzle... Then I can, then I can just, I can just, um, reset it and start all over again. So this is the first sort of introduction to the idea that you can actually move the logs from end to end. Uh, but normally I think you have to roll it a little bit. Oh no, I rolled it in the water, so I can undo that. Let me see. I must need to... Hang on, let's reset the island. I must need to go the other way with it. So I must need to, to, to go that way. And then what I think I need to do is roll it into the into the thing, into the uh, museum here, and then push it end over end into the water. Now the museum is a museum for humans. It is a scale model. Humans preferred their museums to be indoors. This initially seemed to be, well, seemed baffling to monsters, especially given the amount of dusting we avoid by keeping objects outside. <laughs> That's a really good idea, actually, although um, they do erode a little more outside. Experts have recently suggested that keeping objects indoors may have been part of England Land's <laughs> effort to hide and store museums' collections of stolen property. That's a very monster take, I guess. Yep, yep. So this is the first island that, uh, that I haven't actually done before, because I did a little, a little tester on it, so I'm just going to... Roll that up there. I'm gonna push it along. And push it along. And oh, of course we go. That's fine. So this is the next one. This is the next little exhibition for us. It is a plinth. Humans liked to put objects on boxes called plinths. At first, monster experts didn't know why. But then strangers kept thinking the plinthless exhibits were lost property and handing them in at the help desk. It turns out plinths are very important. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to have to turn a corner with this one, I think. So let's uh, push that down. Oh, yes, I forget. Oh, you can push it back up as well. That's funny. Okay, um, let's try pushing it this way and giving it a little... Oh, if I roll it, it's going to roll straight into the water. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know what to do. Mm. It needs to come up here somehow. Let's, uh, let's try again from the start, shall we? So, if I push it, hang on, if I push it this way. No, that's not going to work. <laughs> if I... I'm sure I need to push it down and then and roll it. Well, maybe I don't, maybe. Because cause if it's there, I don't push it up, you see. I can only roll it into the sea from there. Oh, completely undoes everything, look. Whee! So, uh, yeah, we're going to reset the island again. 
I have to get it to roll into something. Like, the plinth is probably something that I have to use. But I don't know how to get it to roll into the plinth. Oh, I know. I know. If I do that, and then I... Oh, yes, I can hop. Ah, oh, there we go. That's what I was missing. So then we can do this. And then we can do this. And this. And this. And then it's the wrong way around. Which is unfortunate, but I'll try and roll it in anyway. No, no, we can't do that. Okay. I think I was nearly there, but I somehow needed to get that to turn around. So I'm going to just <laughs> try again. <laughs> Oh, what am I even doing? Oh, man. Come here. Come here. Do it right. Do it right, G-Lab. Come on. All right, so it needs to be there. And I need to roll it. That's definitely right, that. And then, obviously, when it's on its top like that, um, I can... <clears throat> I can then push it the other way, but I need... Oh, it's stuck now. I can do that, you see. But I need to have it over there when it does that. So uh, let's try again. I'm nearly there with it. I definitely, they're definitely getting the right idea. Uh, monster, I didn't tell you to do that. Stupid monster. Okay. So we go here. Yeah. Yeah, here. And then I can't get round. So that's the issue I'm having. Can't go around this stupid plinth. It's right in my way. So then I've got to go this way and push it back up. And then push it there and there and there and we're good. Yay, done, cool. Right. So there's two different islands here. That one's a very simple one. A certificate of excellence. Okay, this isn't a human object, but we won a monster travel award for the museum. Ooh. Look, there's a trophy too, except we sort of knocked it over and now there's a bit missing. So it's in need of the mend, oh, so it's in the mending cupboard at the head office, but the certificate is great. Oh, cool. We got a certificate of excellence. So this, I think I can tell what to do. She says, messing it up. Don't think that was what I was meant to do somehow. I think I was meant to maybe push it the other way. It needs to be turned around. Oh, well, if I do that, then that's completely messed up, isn't it? So we always have to roll it once it's... Because we can't push it end over end until it's been rolled. I may come back to that one, actually. I'm going to come back to that one. This one shouldn't be as hard. This one should just be a case of... She says and pushes it the wrong way around. Oh, all right. Oh, man. I see what I need to do with this one. I need to basically push it down so that it will be in line with the other stump and the other stump's what's going to stop it from rolling. And then we've got that. Easy. That one wasn't too bad. Uh, but this one is a bit of a pest. Also, like, I didn't realise you could, like, get lost. What if I don't find all the things? Oh no! Oh, I can see what to do with this one. So dumb. I'm so dumb sometimes. Ha ha! <laughs> I bet loads of you could see that. Straight away. Uh, 
Okay, so this one needs to go down. Then I need to run around it. No! <laughs> really carefully. No! Reset the islands. Um... So it needs to go down that way, but then I, I also need to be on the other side of it. And I cannot be on the other side of it. No. 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 But there's a rock in the way, so I can only go there. So uh, that sucks. So I can only push it this way. Yeah, that's the only way I can push it, because that would be straight into the water. That would be would be doable if I could jump over that thing. But I can't. Look, boof. How annoying, you annoying rock. So I'm going to think about that while I go elsewhere. I'm going to reset the island and I'm going to think about it while I go elsewhere. Hey, come back here. And then we're going to go up here for a bit. I wonder if you can find, like, extra skills or anything. Now this one's a very much a normal one. Oh, look, there's a little backpack. Human backpacks look a lot like monster backpacks, but if you open one up, you can see that they are exactly as big on the inside as they seem from the outside, implying humans never quite mastered basic dimensional design theory. Stupid humans not mastering basic dimensional design theory. Now then, I think this one needs to go down like that. And I need to jump onto there, onto there, onto there, and roll it back there. And then... And put it on its end. It needs to be around the other way, so... I need to work out which, which end I want to put it on to. So I'm going to try this way. And I can run around there and do that. And that. And that. And then I can roll it down to that tree stump. And do that and that. And we're done. There's a post box. Hello, post box. Oh my goodness! What happened? I can travel places with my post box. Oh my goodness. I can travel from one post box to another post box and it also helps you see the map as well. That's amazing. Okay. But I'm guessing that I can only travel back to this post box. So there's a thing. All right, so there are many, 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 many trees here, but I'm gonna just push this one down and go over to here. So we've got ourselves holiday lies. Holidaying humans like to send pictures they didn't take to people they didn't like, claiming that they wish those other humans were present. NB, please do not put this exhibit in the monster post. Replica holiday lies are available in the gift shop. Holiday lies. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love their sense of humour. It's so funny. So I can look around with R a little bit. Uh, sorry if that made anyone feel a bit sick. Um, and I can sort of try and work out my way, where I'm going, what I'm doing. I'm just trying to think what I want to do with There's two trees here. And I don't know I don't know what to what to do with them at the moment. So I'm just gonna try and like push that one down, go round, push it up there, and then go wee and see if that's enough to make it to this other island. 
It is not, you see. That's what I thought. So what I'm actually thinking is you need two logs here. Uh, I don't think that's going to work somehow. I think we need to go the other way. Push it onto that log. Ah, yes, see? Oh my goodness, it made like a little rafty bridge thing. That's cool. I like. Interesting. Hmm. Now then. What are we going to do over here then? Well, that wasn't quite the idea, but okay. Maybe if I like did both of them at once and just rolled them both in. Ha ah, ha! Yes! I don't know if that's like um, stopped me from now going the other way. <laughs> Maybe that was a choice. That I had to make. I may, I can maybe go a different way to get around there, but this is cool. What is this? A stanchion and ropes. This is another human museum magic trick. If you put little metal poles around an exhibit, visitors will still get too close and prod it. But if you connect the poles using velvet ropes, an invisible wall pops up and the exhibits are safe. <laughs> okay, so this is a nice easy one. Oh, there's like bigger trees. Let's do longer things. Nice. So this is another one where you have to make a, a, a bridge for it, I think. Um, this second tree is going to be a bit of a tougher one. Oh, I know. That way. And then you can push it against the rock, and then you can get it onto its end. And that should, in theory, help. Yay! Next, a plaque. The most recent human museum trick that monster experts have discovered is plaques. Any information on a plaque felt truthier to humans, even if it was just a guess. Researchers are still trying to determine if the same is true for monsters. Where are we now? The windmill here. I didn't really mean to put that, to knock that down. So we're just going to sit here and think a little bit. I mean, I actually can't get through if I don't knock it down. So that means I probably need to. And then we've got like a very small stone there. Can he get through? <laughs> um, obviously that was wrong. <laughs> Can I jump? Can I jump over little rocks? No. Oh man. I have a s sneaking suspicion I need to, need to try and use the trees from this island. To... oh man. Ah. Well, that's the thing I can do apparently. Didn't know that. Didn't know I could just walk across the log. There's nothing I can do once it's in the water. Knock this one down and make it into a double. And then and then sail on it? No. Oh man. I need a little sail or something, don't I? Reset the island quickly. So yeah, that's a bit rough. I feel like I need Maybe an extra ability or something for that one. I, I don't know, because I definitely can't get past these rocks. But 
But if I... The problem is I can't knock this down anyway, but this, and the only thing I can do is roll it over here, or roll it over there. But maybe that, maybe that's what you need to do. Maybe you just need to roll it out of the way, okay? So maybe, then... Then I can't do anything with that one. I can't roll these over. Oh man. Okay, I'm going to try and go a different way and see if I can find other things that I can solve because sometimes that's what you need to do. So I'm going to go back a little bit because I can't solve that one right now. I can solve that one though. No, I can't. That one needs to go down that way because we've been down this way. Okay, so this one here, I think if I just push it down that way and I can just jump on there and push that against that rock and then I can get it up onto its end and that usually makes it a lot more easy to play around with. However, its own stump will be in the way. I wonder how that will work, actually. So if I push that over... Oh, okay. Interesting. It will just go straight over its own stump. Although after that, there's not a lot I can do with it, and I think I'm going to roll it in the wrong direction. However... Might be able... Put that one on its end, otherwise I won't be able to do anything with it. Hang on. To do that. Ha! Oh, clever she love. Hello, little tree with an owl in it. This tree is not technically part of the museum experience, but there's a cool bird nesting it, so you aren't allowed to cut it down. Not even a little bit, not even with the undo or reset options. Leave the cool bird alone, alright? Okay. Fine. See if I care. So, we have quite a few trees here. This one can only be chopped down in one direction. This direction. This one, I think I could just do that with. And I could roll it against this. And then I can hop on top of it. Oh. No, I can't. Rats. I love how I can sometimes jump on top of stuff and then sometimes I can't. Sometimes it's like, just no. No, you can't do it this way, she lab. <laughs> I just kicked the rock. Right, I definitely think this uh, island needs to be reset. So we have a tree over there that we can only physically chop down in two directions. That direction, or that direction. Which absolutely sucks, and I don't understand that at all. We've got this one that can go down, but then it's surrounded by rocks that I can't get past. However, 
maybe if I did this and this and this and this and this, then I could get past. Ha ha! But then I would need a lot more to, to do this one, um, like... It's a rather large area that I really don't feel I can get to, so I'm gonna leave that be for now. It's nice, I think that is what I meant to do with that one. I mean, it could be that all of the trees in here are meant for a reason. So it could be that this one is actually meant to help me get across to that other log. So it could be that that is meant to go over to here. And then make me like a bit of a bridge. I'm not sure. I have a feeling that that's wrong somehow. Gonna reset it again. It is a tough puzzle, this one, actually. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I mean, I think I got it right with that. I think I do need to get across to there. That is a, a totally different kettle of fish, I think. Unless I can get, I can roll it up against the trunk. I have a horrible feeling that I need to make all three of those trees into some kind of bridge so that I can get that one other tree to work. I know, crazy idea, right? But That's not quite what I meant to do there. I meant to run around this way. In fact, not even that way. No, that's not right. Uh, then maybe this way. <laughs> I'll just try all the ways until a way works. That's not going to work either. Ah, uh, You can see what I'm trying to do, can't you? It's that way. Roll it up there, and then I can't get to it. Okay. And that makes a perfect bridge, which is quite nice. Oh, that was my problem. Was it when I got to here, I couldn't get round. But now I have a perfect bridge that allows me to get round. Ha ha ha! She lab is the winner! I know, that took me ages. Thinking of making a bridge was a hard one. Uh, 
Ah, oh, I think I messed that one up. Totally messed that one up. But this is easy down here. We can do this one. Oh look, it, get, it takes us round in a circle back to where we were. How interesting. So some islands clearly you need to go to from that direction. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm, that's not right. I try many th different things and then we'll see if it's right. Um. I mean pushing it into the water is not something that you would you would do. And that obviously just makes it so you do feel like you'd want to make make it go like that. Oh, got it. I just need to get out of my own way there. But look. Clever she lab. She did it. Break glass in case of emergency. Uh, emergency cheese sandwich. In case of emergency, please break glass. Re release cheese sandwich. Breaking glass will activate sandwich alarm. Penalty for misuse of emergency cheese sandwich. £3.50. I love that this is all about England and pound signs and things. Um, so the emergency cheese sandwich, you can't get any further than that. There's no cheese. So, uh, and you can't get any further than this because I used all the trees. Um, I don't think I used them incorrectly either. Have a look in my post box. It looks like I do have to solve the puzzle of the windmill island. Because when I'm looking around, it does seem to be the only way to go. Rats. Well, I guess we're going to have to go and we're going to have to get it right. Um, um... I'm figuring it's something to do with making bridges. So that we can get across. I don't I don't I think the reason we've got that many trees is so that we can make a bridge like we did on that other island. So I think that is a, a genuinely valid tactic. And this is what we are going to try and do. Let's have a look. Dunk a 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 dunk. That doesn't allow me around, so hang on a second, because I accidentally knocked its friend down. But I believe that what I need to do is to get a double one there, so I can get through to here and start playing around with this tree. Um. I can only knock down in one of two directions. Knock it down in that direction and then I can go around on the thing. Oh. But I can't get to that square there with it. Okay, fine. Fine, see if I can. However, what I can do roll it up there and go around here what magical stuff happened
monsters expedition through puzzling exhibitions. It took me to a magical land and now I can't get back. Oh. Um. That was not what I was quite expecting, but oh well. Uh. Oh, hang on. Uh, that was wrong. I need, no, I need to use that to get across here. Okay. There's some super cool stuff in this. Probably keep going for another 10 minutes or so, but I'm glad I kind of finished an entire level. I was quite pleased by that. Um, don't know where I'm going now, though. I only have one tree, and there's a massive gap here. Mm. That's clearly not the right way. I think this might be something to do with it. Okay, I wanted to see if I could roll it over that rock, but I can't. And there really is not enough tree to, uh, to do this. I jump in. <laughs> I jump in. Unless this now means that the rafts suddenly are all gonna. I'm gonna make it into a raft and see if the rafts are all suddenly gonna be like things that I can sail on. Apparently they are now things that I can sail on. But seemingly only in like one direction. Okay. Only when it decides. I, I can make a raft. It's like you can make a raft now. Okay. Fine. It's quite possibly what we're going to have to do for everything now. I think he's trying to teach us about rafts now, so we'll just uh, have to try and do that, I guess. Oh, as long as there's something to kick off of. Right. Interesting. You have to have something to kick off of, and then you can use your raft. I see. The hooked protrusions on this wall suggest it performed a similar function to the familiar human coat rack, but instead of collecting coats, it allowed users to store multiple humans without them getting crumpled or wrinkled. Eh. I do like that whole new, that whole new, uh, like, idea of having a raft. So this will probably be like that. I kick off from there. See. So I'm getting the hang of this. There's a flamingo, an inflatable flamingo. Not much is known about how this species of buoyant plastic waterfowl evolved in England land. Our best guess is that traditional feathered flamingos got fed up with standing on one leg and decided to adopt extreme flotation techniques instead. Aha. I don't think that that was right at all. I think we need to go this way. This way. Hmm. It's probably not meant to be that way. Probably meant to be this way and get the post box. Ah. 
So I can zip up to another post box if I want to. And then I can try and uh, use new techniques and things to, to do other stuff. But I don't know if I want to yet. But it's good to know I can. If I want to. Oh, right, so apparently it's not a two way system. Oh. I believe I've used all the trees around here. This is all the way back to the beginning. I cannot go any further than that. Well, that's super annoying because, like, the raft was one way. Why won't the post box let me travel to the other land? I'll try one more time. Oh yeah, it will. It will. Don't worry. I'm being dumb. I just used it wrong. Okay, cool. Cool, but never going to use it again. Why are there two trees on this island? Try some stuff with the other tree a second. I'm going to reset this island. I'm not sure here. This one's a bit of a tougher one. Because I'm blocked at every, at every section. So I will need... almost like I need to just do this and then yeah but then I can't do anything ah so there's only two ways it can possibly be pushed and they both suck so there's definitely something I need to do with the other tree I don't want I certainly don't want to roll it that way I don't really want to roll it that way either So that's a thing. It's a thing that happened. So 
So I can roll that there, and I can either go this way, which didn't seem to work very well, or I can try and go this way. I don't really know why I would go that way. With it at all. I don't know, maybe that would do something. Maybe I could make it into a raft and then maybe I could kick off. There we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, silly she lab. Took me way too long to do that one. Loose change, this trove of cash was excavated from the velvety nooks and crannies of the seating of the Phoenix Movie Palace when the theatre was refurbished in 2042. Oh, we're very far in the future here. The total value of the coins at that time was just enough to cover the cost of two standard off-peak cinema tickets and a small popcorn. How wonderful. So that's about all we have time for today. So I hope you enjoyed me playing through a uh, Monsters expedition through puzzling exhibitions and uh, if you did then please do leave me a like below and uh, do subscribe etc for more content of this type i hope to see you soon in the meantime please do look after yourselves and keep being awesome <laughs>